right, remember the classics. We going there, the classic. We going there, man. We going with don't don't do good time, man. <laughs> Anytime you need a baby. <laughs> in that damn studio. Anytime you need a man. <laughs> Anytime I'm, I'm, I don't know it's right there, but damn it. Good times, man. February 8th, 1974. Literally. Well, it's meant for me to talk about this. On CBS, it came out. Created by Eric Monty, who created Cooley High. My man Mike Evans from the Jeffersons, the original Lionel. It was the first African American family with two parents for a sitcom for television, man. It was a spinoff, Maude, which was a spinoff. Maude was a spinoff of All in the Family. So it was the first ever spinoff from a spinoff show. And I'm like, yo, this is jink. Shows about two parents were trying to raise their three children in Greeny Green Projects in Chicago in the 70s, man. You got Florida, you got James, Thelma, you got Michael, you got Walona, uh, Bookman, you got Keith, you got uh, Penny, uh, Millicent. Her name is Millicent. I never knew that. Her name was Millicent. That's why they call her Penny for Millicent. For Sit. Clever. <laughs> I think my cousin, I've known all my life. I think that's her name for real, just because I, never mind. Millicent, Millicent, AKA Penny, AKA Janet Jackson. Favorite character though, gotta be JJ, man. He's the artist, he's the kid. He's the kid that he was the comic relief of all this stuff, cause it was always depressing. They never had the money when it was time to have the money. <laughs> it was never, back then when they talk about money, it's like, damn, y'all get by with that? Man, I get $2 a day from this job, man. It's like, how you raising a family with $2 a day? JJ was a comic relief forever. Um, when I was younger, I was something I liked. They used to have his album, Dynamite album, and he's had, he had his finger and it was like lit, and I'm like, oh man, I gotta do comedy just cause I saw this. Then I met him in person, and he was somewhat of a jerk to me. So, <laughs> shout out to Jimmy Walker, though. But you, you wasn't that nice to me, brother, if you're watching this. But then I got older, and I realized how fine Thelma was. I'm like, Thelma was dancing. Thelma was sexy as hell. Thelma's still sexy. She like 60, 70 years old. She's still fine as hell. Show dealt with everything. The show dealt with everything. You had gang violence. You had gambling. You had drug dealing. Alcoholism. Child abuse. Um, they had a deaf kid about to fall in the damn um, elevator. It was crazy. They had STDs. It was, they did everything. And most of all, they talked about poverty. And it was funny still. <laughs> I'm like, how y'all, how's this fun? This is crazy. This is literally bad times. But, yo, we still gonna make it out. Favorite episodes, two million to name. Two million to name. The gang, uh, JJ got shot, Black Jesus, the gun episode. When Michael got the bad grade, <laughs> and Luke Gossip G was on there, that little boy. I don't know where that boy is. Right now, he's somebody's grandfather, but he was weird. Michael hit me, and everybody was fighting. He was like, that's just hilarious, though. Davis, Davis was funny, man. Ultimate Davis was funny. He never could get what Lona name right. And you too, Will Anita. He never will get our name right. Um, the episode Penny burnt the cows, but I think my favorite one ever was the uh, rent party, and JJ wasn't even on it. I think that's the only episode I didn't see him on the show, and that was a, that was John Amos' last episode. It was the um, season finale for um, season three. Because John Amos was that good of an actor that you could not tell in real life he was only eight years older than the JJ character. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the episode with the mirror, and that dude ain't want to pay him, pay JJ his money. And he stopped it. You know how long it took him to pay like that? Huh? Now that pain's worth 10 times more you've given him. If you don't do that, I'm going to stuff you in a night deposit. But I'm like, man, this, he, I'm like, yo, he really about to beat this dude's ass. Man, man, dude, if you see this, man, I'm a big fan of you, bro. The thing I didn't like about the show is um, when he, the dad died, when they had him off the show. And all the time John Amos was alive, they had a hard time paying for stuff. They couldn't do this. They couldn't do that. He leaves. They got new furniture. JJ got a job and they able to survive with, with nothing with the three kids in the house by themselves. I thought that was weird. And I didn't believe when Thelma got married to Keith, he was an NFL prodigy. He was a, he was a Heisman Trophy winner, supposedly. And he gets hurt and they just leave him in the ghetto. They, they're not going to leave him in the ghetto if he's a prodigy like that. And he's, they, they would have took care of him as far as money. He was driving taxi cabs and, I don't know how I'm going to do it, baby. He's all, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. And he slapped the one time and then Thelma slapped the back. And another thing, they were always broke. Our Florida couldn't get a job with Walona. Walona was the manager at the boutique, but Walona could have just, Walona could have got uh, Florida a job, man. Oh, I gotta say this. Final episode. I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna say this. The finale episode, man. It gets me every time, brother. It gets me every time. <laughs> that finale, man. Oh, man. It, it, it. 
that was the first time everything went right. <laughs> like everything went right on one day. Like you got all these seasons of this bullshit. Father dying, Penny almost getting raped in the hallway. The boy about to fall off the elevator. It was like, yo, but this one, everything went right, man. Michael went away to school. Keith got back in the NFL. Thelma was pregnant. JJ sold a cartoon idea, and then they topped it off at the end. Walona was moving, and Keith was like, you're moving in with us, mom. Like, oh, what's the name? Like, where's this place at anyway? Blah, 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 blah. And then Walona like, what, blah, blah, blah? That's what we said. We, we were downstairs. Oh, 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 Hollywood ending. You have to get them to the north side of Chicago. Good times, man. Hanging in the child line. Next segment.